This is eDevice tutorial 8. I'll be going through two questions here, question 1 as well as question 2. For question 1 here, uh, we are to describe the followings for small signal BJT amplifier. Part A is to describe the role of coupling capacitors. Now, uh, role of coupling capacitors is basically to allow AC signal to pass through while providing DC oscillation for bias voltages. Okay. Then for part B, what is the role of uh, bypass capacitors? Well, the bypass capacitors actually helps to provide an effective short circuit or bypass for an AC signal around the emitter resistor RE. Okay, and the purpose, main purpose of it is actually to increase the AC voltage gain. For part C, on the procedures of uh, deriving the H-parameter equivalent circuit, uh, there are three steps to it here. Now, the first step is actually to short all coupling as well as bypass capacitors, okay, followed by grounding or shorting all DC voltage sources. And lastly, to replace all transistors with H-parameter equivalent circuit. Now, let's go on to question 2. In question 2 here, we are given this uh, common emitter amplifier circuit. And uh, part A of the question is to draw the simplified H-parameter uh, small signal A sequence circuit. Okay, we'll do this on the next page. And then for part B, we are supposed to find the input impedance Z in of the amplifier. Part C is to find the output impedance Z out of the amplifier. Part D is to find the voltage gain AV of the amplifier. So for part B and C and D, we will need to actually draw the simplified H-parameter model first okay, before we can actually find uh, the answers to part B, C and D. Okay. For part E, the last one, okay, uh, we are given a voltage V in which has a peak value of 15 millivolts uh, applied to this amplifier here, right? and then we are supposed to find out what is the output voltage gain. I'll go next to uh, the next page to draw the simplified H-parameter A sequence circuit. Just before we draw, uh, we actually need to go through the three steps that we went through earlier right in uh, the first question So the first step is actually to replace all the capacitors that we see in this figure Q2 here to short circuits Okay, so we have two capacitors here, right? One is at the input side the other is at the output side So we replace them with short circuits, okay? And next thing here is that uh, we see that the resistors RB as well as RC are tied to this 12 volts uh, voltage source here. So we replace the 12 volts voltage source with ground since the 12 volts is essentially a DC voltage source. Okay, the next thing is um, this transistor here, we have to replace it with this uh, small signal equivalent circuit. Okay, so um, to convert this into its H parameter model, right, we will start with the transistor first. So for the transistor, it has uh, three terminals base, collector, as well as emitter. Okay, so we will actually uh, uh, draw that one first. Okay, we will have this one here, the H parameter model, right? This is our base, this is collector, and this is emitter here. Okay, uh, between base to emitter, it's actually replaced by HIE. Okay, and then from collector to emitter, right? It's actually uh, replaced by this current source with a value of HFEIB. Okay. Note that there's actually currents, right, IB as well as IC. Okay, that's actually going into the base as well as collector terminals, respectively. Okay, so we will uh, proceed to the emitter first. At the emitter side on this figure Q2 here, it's actually tied to the ground. So we will actually draw the connections of the H parameter model and the emitter side directly to ground here. Okay, next we will come to the collector, right. So at the collector, we have actually uh, two branches here. So one of the branch is this one here, right? Uh, with, a, with a short connections to V out, okay? And the other branch is actually this one here, okay? Uh, through RC and then through the ground, okay? So we will draw the one that actually goes to V out first. Okay, so this is all the way to V out here, okay? Now, the formal location of the uh, capacitor, right, that's actually been replaced by short circuit, okay, it's roughly uh, around this region here, okay, let me just draw, it's around this region here, okay, so uh, directly uh, around this region, right, we will place the location of the capacitor up there, okay, now, uh, why we need to do this is because uh, below this location, right, we have to draw in, 
okay uh, this output impedance location okay so this is to indicate to us to us right uh, that this is where the output impedance is actually pointing in towards the amplifier okay then we have also another branch uh, along the collector terminal right so i just put the node there okay uh, this one here okay with the ground pointing upwards okay uh, so we cannot have ground actually which is pointing upwards okay all ground must be referenced below here okay that's the ground okay so what we will do is actually uh, we have to flip uh, this ground okay this this ground here right uh, to to downwards okay so we flip it now like this okay and this is our rc resistor here so we have already completed for the collector side okay we will then go on to the uh, base terminal here so for base terminal again we will see that there's actually two branches okay one of the branch is actually this one here okay um, with the uh, uh, short circuit okay mm, towards this bit in here okay and then we have also another branch which is this one here okay at the base terminal okay so this involves the resistor RB as well as the ground, which is pointing upwards. Okay, so I'll just draw all the way to V in first. Okay, so that means it's this one here. Okay, all the way to V in. Okay, and then also at this input side here, right, uh, roughly around this region here, right. This is where I will actually. This is actually the formal location of the capacitor, which has been replaced by short circuit. Okay. So directly below this, right, we will actually uh, point this input impedance inwards. Okay. Next, uh, we still have one more branch at the base terminal. Okay, so this branch here uh, will pass through RB, right? We'll have RB in, in, in series with it, right? As well as the ground, which is pointing upwards. So again, I just highlight just now, we cannot have ground which is actually pointing upwards. We need to flip this ground down, okay? Because uh, ground should be downwards, not upwards. Okay, so we have to flip this RB down. Okay, this is where RB is uh, located now. So with this, we have already actually drawn the uh, uh, H parameter equivalent model circuit. Okay, for Figure Q two, and this is just part A here. Okay, I'll go on next to find the uh, input impedance. Okay, so for part B, when we want to find the input impedance of this circuit here, right? Notice that our V in here, right, is actually pointing into RB first, okay? And then behind RB, there's actually this another resistor here, which is called HIE, uh, in parallel to it, okay? And uh, after that, right, uh, we don't have any more resistors, okay? Uh, we don't see any more resistors at the input side there, so therefore the input impedance is just RB in parallel with HIE, okay? So if we were to calculate this out, this will be uh, 200K, Okay, for RB uh, in parallel with uh, HIE, which is 1K. Okay, and if you calculate this out, right, this will give you a value of 995 ohms for ZA. Okay, and next we go on to uh, part C here. So for part C, we are supposed to find the output impedance. This is where our output impedance is. It's pointing towards RC first. Okay, and behind RC, there's actually a, a current source, which is HIPIB. Okay, a current source does not give any resistance, so therefore it won't contribute any resistance to Z out. Okay, so therefore what we see for Z out is just simply RC. Okay, and the answer for Z out uh, is just one point five k, the value of RC. Okay, next go on to part D here. So for part D, we are supposed to calculate the voltage gain of uh, this amplifier circuit here. So the voltage gain is AB, right? Uh, the simplest formula for voltage gain is V out over V in. Okay, which means we need to actually derive V out and V in uh, individually. Okay, they are formulas individually. So we start with V out first. Okay, where is V out? This is where V out is. Okay, so that's where V out is here, right? And you can see that uh, this V out, right? Uh, since the positive is at the top here, and negative is below here, right? It's actually in parallel with RC, the resistor RC. Okay, so that means we can actually derive V out in terms of RC. Okay, all we have to do is just to find out, right? How, uh, what is the current that's actually passing through this RC here? Okay, so there's one current which is actually 
uh, linked to it okay is this current IC here so if we trace back the current IC backwards like this okay so you can see that this current IC is actually going upwards okay when it goes upwards right this side of RC is positive and when it exits this is negative here okay you might be asking me how come our IC is not actually coming from this uh, V out here okay so it's not coming from V out because on the V out side there right uh, it's actually open circuit okay so uh, then this IC is actually originating from ground okay then you'll be asking me how come it's from ground okay well this ground right and this ground okay they are actually interconnected so that means our IC is traveling like this now okay so we can further trace back right uh, to, to, to this current source here okay HIV IV so all in all right you can see that this current IC is actually traveling in a loop okay starting from the current source HIV IV okay, so with that right that means we can actually derive now uh, the formula for uh, this V out here okay now as you can see the polarity across the resistor RC right is different from V out okay V out for V out the positive polarity is on top but the positive polarity for RC is actually below okay so that means it's reverse to each other so that's why uh, in deriving for V out right uh, the current IC is actually negative IC okay multiplied by the resistor RC so if we expand out this uh, uh, IC right because IC is going towards the current source the current source has a value of HFE IB so therefore uh, IC is replaced by HFE IB okay so this HFE IB is actually IC multiplied with RC okay next we will go on to derive V in here okay so where is V in V is of course at the input side this is where V in is okay so uh, for V in right we can also see that uh, the first thing uh, the first resistor that's in, in parallel to it right is actually this resistor RB here okay but uh, too bad we cannot actually derive uh, formula using RB for V in okay, because we do not know uh, what is the current that is actually passing through this RB here okay so we have to look one step backwards right we see that there's another resistor right which is in parallel with V in this is HIE resistor here okay and with a current IB flowing towards it also so when it flows in right this side is positive uh, the below side is actually negative here okay so it actually is the same uh, polarity right to V in okay where the top side is positive okay bottom side is negative okay so therefore when we derive for V in uh, in terms of HIE and IB right it will be positive IB HIE so after having derived V out and V in, we can combine them together uh, to derive this uh, final formula for AV, okay, the voltage gain. So we have minus HFE IB RC over positive IB HIE. Okay. Notice that there are two IBs at the uh, nominator as well as denominator, so we can cancel off. Right? So the final formula right, will actually be minus HFE RC over HIE. Okay, so if we substitute the values inside, so we will have minus 120 times 1.5 kilo ohms, okay, over uh, 1 kilo ohms, so we will have a gain of minus 180. Okay, so that's the gain for uh, the voltage gain, right, for this uh, common emitter amplifier system here. Okay, and then on to the last part, part E, right, uh, we are given. Uh, uh, input voltage right which is actually 15 millivolts peak okay so we are to find out what is the output voltage here okay now if you if you go back to part D right the formula for voltage gain is actually V out over V in okay and this is equals to AV okay so therefore if you want to find out what is V out right knowing what is V in given to you right so therefore it's just the gain itself multiplied by V in Okay, so the gain that we just calculated is this minus 180 here. So we got we put in minus 180 multiplied by V in, which is 15 millivolts peak. Okay, so the final answer for V out will then be equals to minus 2.7 volts. And that's all for.